Hello everyone, the Erotic X here, uh, bringing you to another episode on Season, where we last left off, we near enough filled in half of the area here on the map. We changed the name of the brigades to the Isles of Hope, and also making our way to the statue that had some funny looking uh, earwax. And we got to see Mama Kate in our dreams, and we apparently told her that she should basically leave and join the others to go ahead and explore. Worst decision I ever made. This time, we're hopefully going to finish off the entirety of this side of the island and maybe hopefully squeeze in uh, the next bit on 0025, uh, wrapping this up. Uh, we'll be warned though, I do apologize if things do get a bit, you know, uppity. That's because basically enough, I don't really know much on where to go and whatnot. So we're going to hopefully find the remainder of uh, the statues and hopefully uh, get along with the rest of our journey. So uh, I'll make my way to hopefully the next statue area, which if I'm following them up correctly, we should get to. So yeah, I will be right there. And here we are. Ew. I don't know what the hell it's kind of describing. It looks like a cat person, a lizard thing or whatnot. Bring up my camera. Say cheese. The figure of this statue feels like it came to someone in a dream. That's just a guess from me. I want a statue that withstood the fate of time. It's like a paper slip. I once knew all the world of Menestra music, and I find them slipping away. My voice goes quiet when all others shout with joy. Please, let me find those old lyrics. Restore them to my tongue. Ooh, this guy's got nice handwriting. I want to remember everything. I want to remember my whole life before it's too late. I want to write it down. Please, God. Finally. I've forgotten the name of a childhood friend who taught me how to lead my... lace my shoes. Early names like that are such tokens such spells i would love to speak it alone again if i only could remember Damn. Okay, if i want to pick one remember my whole life i'm taking you those slips are prayers to this god for memories oh there's the crystal thing again Purple minerals are built into this statue, too. And we're here at the little altar thingy. Let's pray. Well, you're not thin. You're tied. That didn't seem to work. Okay, so I guess you are thin. I know you're not void. Thin. Mm. That was the worst sort of din I ever heard. What am I gonna remember? It was my first time being in a car as it was being cleaned. Car wash? Moving through a tunnel. Like being in the mouth of a whale. How do you know that? That's a good ass memory. We we just remembered our first time in a car wash. Memory that isn't mine. But it feels like mine now. Oh. It seems like it came from the golden season. Oh, is this our, is this our time? Wait, can I remember another one? Once feels like more than enough. 
Oh. All right, let's take a picture of this bad boy. I guess now, since we got all of this, we add it to our journal. So let's go do that. Do that. Do that. And that memory in a car wash. I've been given so many memories here. I hope I'm able to pass them on through this journal. Who knows? Well, someone has a reading journal and whatnot. So, it's more or less a win-win. So... Okay, we completed that, but that bit's uh, left wow. So, uh, let's get into that real quick. Oh. We have a memory. Yo, get off the bike. I've always prayed when I needed something. But now I just want to thank you. The calm you brought over the world. I'm in love with this silence. This moment. We're going to live. And we're going to remember. I can hear the relief in their voice. This must be after the end of the season of war. It's kind of dark, but we're here. At a gas station. And while we're also there, we see a bunch of chains. Let's take a picture of one. And dot them down. Music from a trio of performers. The metal, the breeze, and my mind. Oh, has someone died here? There it is, it looks like a good photo. The lost. We pray to those lost in the unfold. Of the war, those who never came home, who may be living, or may be dead, or may be trapped somewhere in between the dead. We pray for the dead, for those wilted by the art of man who married. We pray for the married, for the long echo of pain to career. I'm looking at a memorial to the lost, the killed, and the maimed. We are so lucky the war never came to Karo Village. Yeah, we call it on that. Pacific troops pushed into Tinusli with the Far Whales Refuge to join the Pacific Stream. No one imagined the scale of the this group, fucking hell, this is a long one. Retreat has now even reached Tingle Tajin. I do apologize if I can't read that. Uh, natural area. The war will continue until. This will never know. <clears throat> the people here weren't ready for a war. All my life I've heard solemn references to the war. It never reached our village, but it touched the lives of our grandparents. Well, they what probably experienced that well. And how did it end? Oh, shh. Hey. Uh, you guys okay? You guys planking? I shouldn't say that, that's a bit fucked up. Oh, fuck me. We've been retiring for months now. 
were stealing food from these poor people. I cannot imagine this continuing, but I can't imagine how it will end either. You bastards. I don't know what it's like to be that hungry. I do feel like this is a bit disrespectful, so apologies. This must be the dream sickness. They'll sleep forever. They look dead. They're sleeping. So this must be the hats that they used back in the wall. The elder showed me this symbol. The soldiers are from the prismatic grounds. Oh, nice drawing. Run in the back. Weird. This looks like it was drawn by a child. Oh, memory. Sonia, what did she do to protect the people of the valley? Beats me, but what's in this vending machine? We did not be being this war. We did not speak to prevent for this war, but we ended it with a prayer of the silence of peace for sleep. They believe a prayer put the soldiers to sleep. Is that possible? I... Doubtful, but if they did, their wish came true. I wait for you in the space between seconds. Satya. Nice watch. Should not take it. Leading? Anything here? It's a nice looking flower. Can I go up here? Oh, more. Must be a postcard or a photo. Someday we live in a world unused by your courage. I'll take that. Their friends and family know what happened to them? Even though I do find it a bit disrespectful for taking all this stuff. Guess I can't go there. Oh. Dead Valley, you will never sleep so soundly. You will never remember so fondly. You will never forget so gently. That last line is kind of disconcerting. Uh, in her regard. Even though I don't know much about it, but I would say I wouldn't want to sleep near a dam. Because again, like, if the dam does break, like, we're dead. Hong Kong. I've seen pictures of cars before. They were common in the golden season. This car seems to be named Hong Kong. Oh, no fucking shit, it was named Hong Kong. I guess I gotta... Add these things to the thing. Wherever they are. Hang on. That's oh, a long one, forgive me. Bingo. I need to take a picture of a one with scented candles. Oh shit, I never saw that.
The artist has depicted the Greyhands as a child. They don't have faith in their capabilities, but see them as innocent? Okay, I gotta find a vending machine. Some shit in it. Is this the thing I'm supposed to be taking a picture of? Yes. Let's put it in. The war was its own season, but the trauma of it echoed on into this season, haunting it. Houston, unlocked. Okay, now let's put in these bad boys. The watch, I just really want to keep in, because it's a watch. Definitely want to keep the wind chimes. Uh, as as I would do state, I do edit uh, these out. I mean, sorry, fix them in my own time and show them off in the next episode. So please bear with me. I'm just putting these things here just for now. There we go. The scale of the old world grew beyond human proportion, maybe beyond human feeling. The parking lot will never die. I don't know, like, forgive me for being a dickhead, but it looks pretty dead to me. And whatnot. Okay, since now we've explored the whole area, uh, we'll make our way to 225 and have a look around there. And uh, we'll end this off, so I'll be right back. And we are here. At the east first path. Put on the brakes. Get off the bike. So we're currently here on the rickety bridge, but before we do that, let's just see. Ah. Listen to dream tape sketch. That's oh, sketch. Seems like a nice place to draw. So that's moments when I need to recall this place, but fucking hell, it looks nice. That's a nice ass for you. And that's a nice ass drawing. Oh, we can also listen to the dream tape. Going somewhere too. Where are we going back I in the past? My brain was doing something special. Oh, pate! I thought I'd wake up with an idea for a new shape or color. I don't think that's gonna happen, pate. Everybody would love my new shape or color. But instead, my brain gave me a dream which made people afraid, which is making you leave. Are you afraid? But now we can prepare. I would say now we could prepare. We don't think we have power, so we don't do anything. But you found something to do. I think that's nice. The Elder said it means the season is ending soon. I want to tell you the dream now. Alright. Let's shut our eyes and lay on the roof. We're on the roof, aren't we? We are already on the roof. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. I'll speak the dream out loud, and you imagine it. Okay. You can close your eyes now. Okay, everyone close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open them. Okay. Whoa. I am in the forest. The sun is bright. My stomach rumbles. I'm hungry. I look for something to eat. There are fruit trees lining the path. I look for one to pick, to eat. I climb up one of the trees and reach out to grab a shining red apple. I blink 
and suddenly the apple is rotten. It looks like it's full of spiders. I blink again and now the apple is just a baby apple. Not ripe or rotten. I lose my balance and fall onto the ground. The apple changes colors. Some are eaten, some disappear. I hear a voice. Someone is there with me. I try to recognize who they are, but their face keeps changing. They're kind of everyone. I tell them I'm hungry. I want what the earth is trying to give me. They say, these aren't apples. They're memories of every apple I've ever seen. There's something wrong with my eyes. And there's something wrong with the soil. They say I need to look into the sun to clear out my vision. They say we're going to look together. And that when we do, they'll melt away. They want to. Then behind them I see you. Watching from the shadows. You've been taking notes on everything. This makes me feel better. I turn my head and I let the light in. I lose track of everything. When I get my senses back, I find myself holding a round red fruit in my hand. I don't know what it is, but I take a bite and it's the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. Then I woke up. You can open your eyes now. That was so much dream. You probably have questions. Kinda. There was something wrong with your eyes. There was something wrong with the soil. Was there something wrong with the soil? It wasn't only my fault that the apples were acting funny. It seemed like the natural world, or whatever it's called, the land didn't know what time it was either. The soil had to forget a little. Why was I in your dream? Who was the person beside you? The face of the ghost person in the dream? They were everyone and no one. That makes no sense, Pate. It reminded me of someone I used to look for. Oh. My birth was not easy. I don't kind of see in how your figure is. I was bigger than most babies. Yep. After I was born, the elder advised them not to have any more children. Ouch. But years later, my parents tried. They told me I'd have a sibling. But we lost them a few weeks later. Oh, damn. I felt like it was my fault. I should have been born last, if ever. I needed to see this missing person somewhere. I kind of now feel bad for Pate. So I searched faces for a face I'd never seen. I thought I had to carry them forever. But in the dream, they wanted to become part of everything. I had to let them go, which felt like a piece of me was dying. It hurts a lot, but it's a nice thing to do if you can. To let part of you become part of everything. Oh. I feel a bit winded now. Well, because you were talking too much. I feel like everything is happening the way it should. But I still wish none of it would happen at all. I wish my dream didn't mean anything. I wish we had wasted more time together. Let's waste the rest of the day. We will someday. Nothing is wasted. Everything's alright. Yeah, everything's all good. We're cool. I know. Thank you for reminding me. Anytime, dude. We'll go down this roof together. And you'll keep going down and down down into the heart of the world. Thank you for listening to my dream. Anytime, Pate. 
At first I didn't know who the fuck you were, but now I, I, I kind of understand you a bit more now. I do feel bad about him though. I really do. Sucks being a giant. Dream listener. God. Papate. And everything just loaded in. I think I got that. Yeah. Pate's dream. Oh, damn. Well, anyway, everyone. Uh, I'm going to end this uh, video off here. Uh, I do apologize if this is a bit shorter than usual. And whatnot. But if you did enjoy this video. Uh, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't. Uh, then I don't. But for question of the day. What is the weirdest dream. You've ever dreamt of. In your life. Let me know what you guys say for the comments. But yep. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And as always. Peace. DX is out.